Good day, everybody. Today, I'm just going to be chatting very briefly about tenting, lifting, cracking of tiles, and whether it's covered or not. Okay, the detail you can read about um, on the PWA that we've put together, um, which you can find in the links below. But uh, very, very briefly, tenting and lifting of tiles. Scenario, one day or one night usually, you suddenly hear this hang of a crash sound, and it is a sudden event. It tents the tiles, lift and tent and crash down uh, in a row. That's what normally happens. And I'm talking about floor tiles. It also happens on walls, but it's very uh, prevalent on floor tiles, especially during seasonal changes when the temperatures fluctuate. In other words, it's springtime in some areas where the sun is shining through on a large area, and then at night the temperature drops. Okay, so you have some contraction. Now, the short answer is no, this is not ordinarily covered by insurance. In fact, 99,99% it's not. It hasn't been for a long time. And I think our article <laughs> that uh, we wrote in March 2014 um, which is referenced here as well, speaks to that because even 10 years ago and before, tenting and lifting of tiles was not covered or treated as an insurable event. At that time, with the older policy wordings, it was um, causes of the policies had to fall in the definition of one of the events of the material damages policy. For example, if it wasn't caused by a storm or a fire or a flood, one of those perils, then it wouldn't be covered, which this wasn't. Um, it's also experts and research. They've got reasons. There's a whole lot of reasons um, uh, researched, and you don't have to look far to get all of the list, the reasons um, of causes for the lifting and tenting of tiles. Okay, and there's a whole lot. Um, and generally, that would be the reason for the exclusion. More recently, the two um, policies that we work with a lot, CRB and CIA, we work with about 10 policies, but I'm just drawing attention to two. Um, they are specific. They've got exclusions which refer to it. CRB more specifically, CIA re uh, reference the causes of uh, tiles lifting and the reasons why they would then not cover it. Uh, I'm going to put up here as the two uh, CIA and CIB's uh, exclusion wordings so that you can see. And um, I'm also going to list the things that um, if you go and do some Google or even some AI research, this is the list of reasons that they're going to give you for the causes of the tenting of tiles. It seems to be mainly adhesive or poor putting down or laying of the tiles a mix of the adhesive, um, uh, the tile adhesive, um, often the grouting, and lack of uh, um, uh, gaps uh, or tile, uh, you know, giving the spacing for the tiles so that there's expansion joints, basically expansion joints. And in a unit that I own, I was very impressed. I could see there was about three rows of tiles, and then one of the instead of grout in one of the whole rows, it's just a silicone, a gray silicone. Then another three rows of tiles and then a gray silicone. I was quite pleased because I thought, well, my tiles will never crack or lift, hopefully. <laughs> so there we have it. Okay, so in a nutshell, no lifting and cracking of tiles, no cigar. There is a small chance in some instances, so you could say 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.001% chance if uh, you can show that maybe something very heavy fell on the tiles, causing that sudden lifting or tenting, but um, under normal circumstances, um, such would be excluded under the policies that we work with. Okay, sorry about that, if that's what you're looking for, um, but rather know up front um, what is and what isn't covered. And then also, you know, don't forget, uh, to really like this video, share, and of course, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet. Um, we're not looking for millions of subscribers, as I've said before, um, but
But if you're interested and if you own or you're a trustee uh, or somehow involved with sectional title, then please subscribe. We'd like to have you on board. Right. See you then. Thank you.